Hey y'all, this is Coach Brian back with the Brian Boxing News update. Hey, I just got through watching the Lenars versus Lomachenko for the WBA Lightweight Championship of the World. And the new champion is Lomachenko. Third, uh, T, uh, 10 round, uh, 10th round TKO stoppage. I, I got, I thought it was a count out. I thought he got counted out, uh, but it, but they're, they're counted as a, uh, so I thought it was a KO, not a, not a TKO. Doesn't matter. Uh, body shot, uh, left power shot to the liver, kidney, whatever that is. I can't think right now. Liver drops Lenars for the final time and, uh, Lomachenko honestly came up off the, the canvas to, um, to to win this fight unbelievably so he came up he he hit, he dropped on the uh in the sixth round giving Lenares uh a, a a that round plus two points so ironically uh the scorecards read Lomachenko was up on one so it was basically a draw if had it at that point at the 10th round they had it as a draw um one score car had at least 86 85 for Lomo and the same score was for Linares. And then one score, one score car had it 85-85. Uh, I'm just going to say, if you're going to fight against a Golden Boy fighter, you need to knock that motherfucker out. Do not go. Do not tell yourself you're preparing to go 12 rounds with any Golden Boy fighter who happens to be elite or, or, or a cash cow or any. No, do not. Just don't, don't do that. And if you're a fighter... You need to fight for Golden Boy because obviously they have they are doing great when selecting the refs that appreciate whatever style that you have. I just want to put that out there. Nothing wrong with them. They're, they're just not hey, they're there for their fighters. Okay, so what does this say? I I had the fight was I I had it for Lomachenko for the majority of the fights. I thought there was a few uh, to beat Lomachenko in Lamer's turn to beat Lomachenko. You you have to bring the fight, and on top of that, you got to throw, you got to be accurate, and you have to be able to weather the storm, and you have to have the capability to have to land that perfect punch, and the perfect punch is a combination of technique, strength, and more so timing. You have got to have t you got to time Lomachenko. Lomachenko can be timed and can be dro be dropped. I think the last time he was dropped is in either in the 2008-2007 World Championships. Uh, he went on to win, uh but this that was so he had never been dropped as a professional. The and the drop was a solid one uh because it it looked as though the uh it took him the rest of the end of that round. It was kind of close to towards the end of the sixth round and he took the rest of that round and he took the seventh round to get his bearings but uh like Lomachenko getting his bearings is st he's still in my head he still neutralized any aggressions that Lenars could have had so normally when you drop somebody you just swarm him but his footwork kept him safe and and the fact that his defense and the fact that he had enough punching power uh to 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 stop Lenars from just walking in on him you got to understand it this guy was a smaller guy and he still stopped Lenars from 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 walking in on him so what do I get from out of this fight I think Lomachenko has tapped out his his weight potential like he, I don't see him going to 140. I, I I don't see a super fight with him and Cro a, a competitive super fight with him and and Crawford. Uh, I I wouldn't want to see Mikey Garcia fight him only to the fact of that Mikey Garcia is not a Lenares. He's a better version. He, he he's stronger. He's more accurate. He he's I, I wouldn't want to see that. I, I don't think it would be competitive for my uh, for Lomachenko. I think Lomachenko would do good. I think Lomachenko would go, do good against anybody at 135. 90%, 99% of everybody at 135. Um, but I wouldn't want to see a Mikey Garcia fight just because I didn't want to see the Rigan Dial fight in Lomachenko because I was like, Lomachenko's way too big than Rigan Dial. Like, I mean, he... Rigan Dial is like stacking everything up against him. The, the impossibles to stack up against him, right? I mean, he, he's got to over, he got to overcome a lot. So uh, the same thing with Mikey Garcia. I don't think Lomachenko. I think Lomachenko can beat the number one pound for pound. He doesn't have to fight Mikey Garcia. Like Mikey Garcia doesn't have to go fight Triple G to be considered number one pound for pound, right? He, that's not what the pound for pound list is for. The pound for pound list for is just to say that your fighting style and your attributes and your skills 
if you were able, you know, uh, you know, not, you know, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyways, if you in in a, in a perfect world, if you're able to move up into any weight class, you would and and you and you had the same, you know, whatever it is, body skills or what I can't think of the right word. You should be able to, your skills should be able to take you and beat any fighter in any weight class. That is not literally Lomachenko. I believe is way better than uh, AJ and way better than Don Deontay Wilder. There and if Lomachenko could gain seventy to eighty pounds to weigh two hundred plus, there is no physical way that he could beat Deontay Wilder or AJ. Right? You wouldn't even want to see that fight. You'd be like, "There's, I would not want to see that." It, that's that's not a cool fight, right? But he can still be the powerful round champion and still not be able to. So I think at 135, he is, if you look at him side by side, right? Lenoris looks like he is, he's in a different weight class. So what happens is most other fighters cut down to whatever the weight they're going to fight at, right? So I think uh, Walters gets kind of heavy. Walters walks around at maybe like, I think they said Walters are like 160, 170 when he cut down to uh 130 right that's a lot that's a lot lana lenars is probably walking around like 160 solid like so he's he looks like a normal dude right he doesn't look small and petite or whatever it is right but he cuts down to 135 lomachenko walks at his weight does that make sense him cutting weight he's probably cutting like maybe five pounds or something like that but he walks around at that weight so when you the the difference is yes they do weigh the same at the scale but their hydration factor most fight, you know, some fighters gain somewhere between ten and fifteen pounds. You know, for sure, solid ten pounds that they're gonna gain. Lomachenko is not gaining much. He's just probably gaining maybe another two pounds because he does. He walks around at that weight. I don't see him. I don't see that he needs to go up any higher. I think one thirty five. He's been capped out at that. Now, if Mikey Garcia comes down to one thirty five, so Mikey Garcia, I believe he's the the diamond champion for the the WBO. A WBO at 130, 135, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I just think I just think it's I think it's going to be up for good. I had to look into uh, how many belts that Lenores uh, uh, have at that time because it seems as though that, that Loma Chico only got the WBA. I think that's the WBA. Am I double checking? Yeah, the WBA fight, the WBA uh, belt. And, and I thought Lenores had a, a few other belts. I know he had the lineal title. Uh, and he had um, he had the rings. Uh, did he have the ringside title? He has the ringside, you know, the ringside title, which is basically you're the best in that weight class period. Uh, that's what that title means. You beat the best. Um, you beat the man who beat the man who beat the man type of thing. So hey, man, outstanding fight. I don't see Lomachenko going up any higher. Uh, I do see potential uh, in a good competitive fight with uh, Durante Tank Davis. I think Jerome Tank Davis probably has a more more of a one punch uh, knockout. He's probably a little bit quicker. His footwork is not there. He doesn't have the experience as a Lenoris with a with a forty four plus you know fight uh, wins. And I think he's probably got over fucking uh, forty four fights. Probably got I think he was, he's lost a few times. So he's maybe got like forty six, forty seven fights, something along those lines. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but uh, he's got a lot of ring experience. I'm not saying Javante Tank Davis cannot do it, right? Three things he's got to be able to land is he's got to have he's got to land that perfect punch. Devontae Tank Davis has knockout power. I don't know if he's able to land a perfect punch. And, and my definition of the perfect punch is uh, perfect punch is, is is catching off of a combination. It's it's not so. Uh, Devontae Tank Davis is a is a how would you say he is a the the Tyson of them Tyson. Any punch Tyson hits would hit you with could hurt you potentially. So it wasn't you needed some magical punch with Tyson. He was like, if I touch your gin, that's done, right? So uh, and sometimes if you if you do the high guard against me, I can pound you till you just knock the fuck out. Devonte Tank Davis has the same capabilities. If you're gonna go up there and go high guard and just lay against the ropes, he could wear you down and break you down with with a uh, punch. He has one punch knockout power. But I don't see it being like placed. I don't see it being timed. I don't see it being not on a level that you would need to fight Loma to, to beat Lomachenko. That one person I believe would be Mikey Garcia. So Mikey Garcia has the best timing, the best uh, for you know 
anybody in that weight class. He's a great guy. So uh, I, th I think Lomachenko should stop at 135. I think maybe he should go back to 130. Clean up all of it. That would be great. You know, go back and clean up. Be like Bud Crawford. Clean up the whole entire division. That You know, you make... I still have... Do I, have, I still got Bud as a... Uh, if, if when Bud goes up to this and he wins, I I I got Bud. I got Bud and Lomachenko at number one. I got Lomachenko right now as the number one just because of his activity, and the fact that he is going up in weight to win championships. So uh, I got Bud as number two uh, currently, but uh, Bud's going up to another championship. First of all, Bud completed he decimated the 140 weight class, right? Decimated it. No one was even close, right? So he beat he beat everyone in that. Then he went up. Now he's going up to uh, uh, 147 to get a championship. I got but I got but winning that one. But currently on on based off of uh, activity and, and and the fact that it seems like every time Lomachenko comes in, he's just he, he you know he he jumped up a weight class. Like honestly, I wouldn't anybody else. I wouldn't I, his size. I wouldn't want them to go up. Like Lomachenko's 30. He can't gain any more weight. His frame is his frame, right? Devontae is younger. All these other fighters who start out young and then they gain weight, well, that's why they're able to, because their frame hasn't filled out. Well, Lomachenko's already done that. So I got uh, Lomachenko as number one. I got uh, Bud coming in as a close number two. We're talking about one-tenth of a second if they're in a race, you know? Uh, one, one, one eighth of a you know, millisecond, whatever that fucking is, right? That distance, right? But as soon as uh, Crud, Crud uh, Bud uh, Crawford goes and, and beats Jeff Horn, if he beats Jeff Horn, I don't see that he wouldn't beat Jeff Horn, but if he does, just in case. But once he beats Jeff Horn and captured that weight class, that weight belt at that weight class, I don't see him not uh, being number one on anyone's pound for pound list. So that's it. Thank you so much for this, uh, uh, for checking out my page. It's been a little while, been a little incons inconsistent, but y'all don't care about that. It doesn't matter. You're here now. Please subscribe, like, share this video and all my other videos. Uh, please hit the bell notification and please check out my Instagram. It's also at Brian Boxing. Thank you so much. Pride never quit. Brian Boxing out. Peace.